Halo, 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 for Wednesday's game, you know, we're still very, very much in the tie. It's, uh, we're a little disappointed not to have won it, but, um, but obviously they're they're a high quality team, and you know they have they have uh, they have some some tremendous players. I thought my players were brilliant tonight, really, and uh, you know we were pleased with our display overall. You must have been confident going in at halftime, seeing how they performed in that first half with a lot of a lot of confidence, creating those chances. Yeah, well, we knew that they, they would, um, you know, I think, I think, listen, we, they built up with a, a back three and, and two, you know, inverted, the left back inverts into, into uh, as a double six and we, we definitely got an absolute full press on that try throughout again with high risk strategy, pushing our full backs right onto their wingers and we absolutely matched them all over the park. And uh, we, we just were utterly dominant in that period. And um, obviously had some chances that couldn't capitalise on. But then late in the first half, they, they did change their build up to with a back two with a two three build. And we found it difficult to get pressure on the ball then um, when they did that. And um, the spare men for both teams was centre backs. Um, and they probably used the ball better from the, they, they, they were more in control than we were then for that period in terms of, from the back two, uh, but, um, but overall, I think, I don't, even though they have so many high caliber players, uh, and, and, and players played at such a high level, I don't really feel we conceded a chance on goal uh, of, of note. I can't think of one, uh, I could be, I stand to be corrected, but, um, I can't think of an obvious clear-cut chance. Now, from our point of view, obviously, uh, Kane Levy's effort is just outstanding, really outstanding. He beat two players brilliantly, cracked it off the inside of the post, and I felt, obviously, the two early chances with Mason and Jake um, were close. So, there wasn't loads of clear-cut chances in the game, but it was an utterly compelling uh, game tactically, and we had to really match them uh, all over the park, and um, we would have liked him to, to win, obviously, to take a lead over to, to Turkey. And Keane Levy, his impact off the bench, he definitely looked like a player that was rare to go, he really wanted to, to make an impact on the game. Yeah, Keane, Keane is a terrific and uh, terrific player. Just Ramal Palmer has been playing really well of late, and, and we have competition in that area. There's a bit of competition in that area with, with three players, probably. But I think, um, yeah, Kane was was excellent when he came, uh, coming off the bench and made it made a good impact. And obviously, when he when he runs from those central areas, you don't often have a player who can dribble in central areas. So when he does that, it's it's uh, it's exciting to watch. And how do you approach the Dundalk game now on Sunday when you know you have the, the second leg on Wednesday? Yeah, it is difficult. Like obviously, all the from what I believe, I'm led to believe. Uh, again, I stand corrected that the Turkish league have cancelled, you know, have cancelled all the games for the European teams. You know, this week, like they've they 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 prioritised the teams qualifying for the group stages, so they've cancelled all the league games. Um, and if you're if you're serious and ambitious, that's what you do. You know, like that's what you do. And even at Dundalk, we wouldn't have qualified. Uh, for the group stages, only Frank Gavin made the decision to cancel those matches, one or two matches for us at that time, and that was pivotal in us, us qualifying for the group stages at that time. And I think um, so. Um, they they have a rest. We have a game against them in five and a half, five and three quarter days because we, we're not we'll have boots on at ten past four on Wednesday, Irish time. So, um, but we've got a, a game in between. And obviously we've lost our mile tonight for it looks like for a few weeks so it's um it just puts a bit of pressure collectively and even apart from the game just your preparation time is zero so i think once you have that game so i think it's uh this is something nothing we can do uh i've made the point some people view view me as sort of some kind of complainer but i i'm not i know more than anyone because i've played i've been involved more games than 
than anyone as a manager. So I think the the uh, I don't mean it in in, in above, but I've been involved in a team who went to St Petersburg on a Friday and and played the, the cup final on a Sunday. You know, come back from so I mean I've been involved in all of those things. And once you get to the group, get on with it. You know, that's what you have to do, and that's that's it. But trying to get to the group is 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 it. It's very difficult for Irish clubs, you know. It's a huge, especially coming the route, going through the four rounds, it's hugely difficult. So you need, you need all the all, all the uh, support you can get. So it's just wrong that you have the game on. Well, I think it's 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 just it's my opinion. I know other people might have other opinions, and uh, it's my opinion that we should get support and and be able to prepare properly because we can't prepare properly. You know, we can, we 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 can we can, uh, but we we we'll get on with it and we'll give ourselves every you know. We, we uh, we we'll fight for the right because we're going to have to play in in heat in Turkey on Wednesday and, and uh, it'll be a difficult game but we want to go through we're desperate to go through we want to it's uh, we're determined and um, we've seen in the north they cancelled for their for their champions you've seen in Turkey who are at a high level they, like we we have to get up levels they don't you know they they're a high high level teams they have. We have the, the reason I think we should is to give ourselves a chance because we have to go up levels to perform. Anyone can play three matches in six days or right, like that. It's not that, but it's the fact it's getting up levels. Do you get what I mean? Uh, and that's and trying to perform, outperform yourself and then your performance life. It's 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 it's, 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 it's extremely difficult. Sorry, Stephen. I know the rule is that uh, the game can be called off for 24 hours. Can you make further representations? Yeah, well, I'm only, you know, only one person, so I don't know. I honestly don't know. Anything else for live? Yeah, Paul, go ahead. Just take two more. That's all right. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, just on Mason Mealy's performance for a 16-year-old to leave the line in such quality opposition, what are your thoughts on that? I know the whole team were very good, but simply for him because of his age. Yeah, uh, he's a credit to himself, Mason. You know, he's a, he's he's got a great attitude and uh, he works extremely hard and. Got, um, you know, so it's asking a lot for him to come in and do that. Um, you know, and uh, but he's uh, more than <laughs> more than justified his selection. I feel, you know, he's more than justified his selection. Obviously, out of possession when you're playing teams that are, you know, of that quality, out of possession he's incredible. You know, he just covers the ground there. Uh, you know, rapidly and has an insatiable work ethic. So, uh, it's back to goal today. He did very well, and that's obviously the area he needs to improve because uh, high level centre backs coming through here, uh, it's not easy. And he did very well, he was very brave, and did very well. He was a threat on the last line, and um, so um, he, he performed well today. And uh, as the front three all did, I felt they were all very, showed uh, real speed and. Uh, and direct running uh, and dribbling, which is a joy to watch. Yeah, yeah, just, just in terms of the sense of it, Steve, up in the press box afterwards, the sense was they used to be the better team, that they were making subs at the end of the game, they were trying to make a wind the block down. Was that your sense on the bench and the management as well? Well, you can never be, you know, like on the bench, you just can never be complete. Places have got Piatek or whatever, you could eight goals from Milan a couple of years ago. Like, you know, you can just pull a goal out of, out of nowhere. So you can never be. Uh, you know, you can never be complacent for a minute. So, um, and you know, fresh legs—that's normal. Teams putting on, we 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 use a few ourselves. But I do think they they probably view it overall as a good result and would be strong favourites in in Istanbul, like because they feel they're at home and so forth. But ironically, it's not a cauldron. Like it's not a welcome to hell cauldron. Fifty thousand. There'll only be five thousand at the game. They only get five thousand at their matches, so um, they're, they're they are the government party's team. You know, they 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 are uh, uh, you know they 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 have a they have a fantastic stadium, but the attendances are not on a par with all of the other teams. And um, even though they've won the league, and it shows you what can happen, they've actually won that league uh, against all those great clubs. So it, I said to players, you're not going into a cauldron. You know, you're going into the crowd won't be any bigger than it is tonight. So um, they have no fears.